the talent, the timing, the location, and the edit. Now you don't have to sit through the rest of the video. Now, for those of you that are still here, I'm gonna go back into each category. I'm gonna break them down and talk about my experiences shooting music videos with zero budget and how you can achieve similar results. Now, my first tip is talking about the talent. And this might seem like an obvious thing, but make sure you get somebody that's passionate about the project and about the video and the song that they're working on. Because I've gotten people out there, we've gotten all ready to shoot and you get them out there and they don't even know their own song and it ends up being a waste of everyone's time. Also make sure that you like the song that you're working on because if you don't, you're gonna hate your life by the end of the project. And another thing to mention is just make sure you get along with your talent because if you guys can all vibe out together, you'll have a better time and that'll definitely translate into the video coming across as a higher quality product overall. And my second tip for you guys is all about location. Don't be afraid to get out and scout, go look around your town, try and find something unique to your area. Also, don't be afraid to ask. If you see a cool location and you're not sure if you're allowed in, it never hurts to ask because nine times out of ten, I'll usually get let into the location to shoot. And don't forget about social media. It's a great tool to see what kind of locations are trending in your location. Now, my third tip for you guys is all about timing. Depending on what kind of look you want to go for for your video, you might want to show up to your location at a different point in time. Whether you want to be out at golden hour, or out at twilight, or out at dark, these are all things you want to take into consideration. As well as the best time to go shoot, my favorite is definitely during golden hour, because I mean... And my last tip for you guys is talking about the edit. Now, you should already know communication is always key, so make sure you're always talking to the talent and the clients, because the better you can understand their vision, the better you can produce it. And it definitely always helps to use a reference video. Go on and find a popular video in that same genre, pay attention to the color grade and the edits they use, and maybe you can apply it to your own video with your own spin on it. Let's also not forget what you're using right now is your free online resources. There's plenty, just don't be afraid to Google. You might have to look a little bit longer than some paid sites, but you can for sure find some awesome graphics to apply to your videos. My last bit of advice for the edit is don't be afraid to try anything new. There's tons of effects in these video editing programs and most of them never get used. So don't be afraid to explore with it. You might end up with something really unique. All right, you guys, I hope you liked the video. If you learned something, don't be afraid to subscribe, hang out, maybe even watch some more content. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.